Good day, students. Welcome to CRS class. This is for JSS1. With your CRS teacher, Mrs. NDBC Blessing. For our today's lesson, our topic is the birth of Jesus Christ. The birth of Jesus Christ. And for our objectives, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to do the following. At the end of this lesson, I want you to pay attention. You as the students, you are expected to do the following. Number one, you are going to define the word annunciation. Two, to state the instances the birth of Jesus was announced. Three, to narrate the story of the birth of Jesus. And five, you are expected to define the word incarnation. I take it again. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following one. Define the word annunciation. Two, state the instances the birth of Jesus was announced. Three, narrate the story of the birth of Jesus. Then define the word incarnation. Now let's take it one after the other. The Annunciation of the Birth of Jesus. The Annunciation of the Birth of Jesus. You will see this in the book of Isaiah chapter 9, 6 to 7. Isaiah chapter 9, 6 to 7. Matthew chapter 1, 22 to 23. Luke chapter 1, 26 to 38. And in Micah chapter 5, verse 2. What is Annunciation? Annunciation refers to the proclamation of the birth of Jesus. I hope you are listening in Kelechi. Annunciation refers to the proclamation of the birth of Jesus Christ. Norma. Can you help us define the word annunciation? Yes. Yes. Annunciation refers to the proclamation of the birth of Jesus. Now, instances where the birth of Jesus was announced. We have instances in the scriptures, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, where the birth of Jesus was announced. Number one. Prophet Isaiah. Isaiah was one of the major prophets in the Old Testament who prophesied about the birth of Emmanuel. Take it again. Prophet Isaiah was one of the prophets in the Old Testament who prophesied about the birth of Emmanuel. And what's the meaning of Emmanuel? Thank you. God is with us. God is with us. We see that in Isaiah chapter 9 and in verse 6 to 7. That's where you see this Isaiah's prophecy. And the, the time period, the time frame between Isaiah's prophecy and the best, the time Jesus was born was 700 years. Wow. Have you seen the, 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 the time frame from the time Isaiah prophesied to the time Jesus Christ was born? It was 700 years. Number two, we have Joseph. Joseph, the one who was the husband of Mary, the one Mary was betrothed to. When he discovered that Mary was pregnant and thought of disengaging her, because in the land of Israel, if, if you are engaged to a lady and you discover that she's pregnant, she should be stoned to death. So when Joseph discovered that Mary was pregnant and he thought of disengaging her secretly, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and encouraged him to take his wife, that her conception was of the Holy Spirit. It was the angel who encouraged Joseph in his dream 
to take Mary his wife that her conception was of the Holy Spirit. The third person we have here was Simeon. Simeon. This man was a righteous and devout man in Jerusalem. He was informed by the Holy Spirit that Jesus shall be born. He was promised that he shall not see death until he sees and blesses the child, Jesus. Number three, we have Angel Gabriel. We know that it was Angel Gabriel that announced to Virgin Mary that she would conceive by the power of the Holy Spirit and that the child shall be called Jesus. He shall be called Jesus. The fifth person was Micah. Micah was a minor prophet. I said Isaiah was a major prophet. Micah, a minor prophet. He was the only minor prophet who prophesied the exact place where Jesus would be born. If you read the book of Micah chapter 5 verse 2, you will see that Micah prophesied that Jesus would be given birth to in Bethlehem of Judea. So we have five instances where the birth of Jesus was announced, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. Five instances. Now, we are going to take the story of the birth of Jesus prosper, proper, the birth of Jesus. We will say this story in the book of Matthew chapter 1, 18 to 25, and in the book of Luke chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Matthew chapter 1, 18 to 25, Luke chapter 2, 1 to 7. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea in a manger where the animals were feeding. And it was during the time the Roman Emperor Caesar Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Joseph traveled from the village of Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea with Mary his fiancée. While they were there, Mary gave birth to Jesus in a stable and wrapped him in a swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place in the inn. The reason why he gave birth to Jesus in a stable was because there was no place in the inn. Now let's look at the importance of the birth of Jesus. The importance of the birth of Jesus. With the birth of Jesus, God had fulfilled his promise to send the world a savior. What did I say? Good. That with the birth of Jesus, God had fulfilled his what? Promise to send the world a savior who would save mankind through forgiveness of sins. The coming of God in human form to save mankind is called incarnation. The coming of God in human form to save mankind is called what? Who said incantation? Incarnation. Say it. Good. Incarnation. The coming of God in human form to save mankind is called incarnation. I hope you have gotten that. Okay. So, what we celebrate every Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ, right? Uh -huh. I know you must have been told this in your churches during Christmas services. But if you change it the other way around, what we celebrate during Christmas is the coming of God in human form to save mankind, which is what? Incarnation. Thank you. We have looked in our service, in our Sorry, in our lesson this morning, we looked at the annunciation of the birth of Jesus. We looked at the instances, five instances, where the birth of Jesus was announced. Then, we saw the story of the birth of Jesus Christ and the importance of the birth of Jesus Christ. Now, take your assignment. Number one. 
you have to define the word annunciation. Define the word annunciation. Two, state instances the birth of Jesus was announced. I gave you five instances. I want you to, to state the five instances where the birth of Jesus was announced. Number three, narrate the story of the birth of Jesus. Narrate the story of the birth of Jesus. Four, state the importance of the birth of Jesus. State the importance of the birth of Jesus. Finally, number five, define the word incarnation. Define the word incarnation. God bless you until I come your way again. I remain your CRS teacher, Mrs. Ndubisi. Blessings. God bless you.